Well, it started as a training tool for prosecutors and law enforcement, and now the California District Attorneys Association wants to share it with you. That's right. Tonight, Julie Watts gives us an exclusive look at a project they hope will help end the cycle of domestic violence. Yeah, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and the California District Attorneys Association is set to roll out a unique series of documentary-style training videos on its YouTube channel. We want to warn you, the following story is for mature audiences, and some of what you're about to hear and see may surprise you. It's an issue that crosses racial and ethnic boundaries. He will use our kids to threaten me. Transcends traditional survivor gender roles. Men are very reluctant to admit the extent to which they're traumatized. And it is inclusive. She had actually locked me in our room. Their stories are different. I am a former batterer. But the moral is the same. Just know that you're not alone. There is help for you out there. I no longer feel so alone. Our goal is to empower these victims. We want this to be a life preserver of sorts. Greg Totten explains the district attorney's upcoming five-part YouTube series, Swim Again, began as a training tool for prosecutors, funded in part by Cal OES. But the association quickly realized the stories and interviews could serve a much greater purpose. He's like, Mommy, do I have to hit girls? Help stop the cycle like, of domestic violence. What? The single greatest thing we could do to reduce violence in our communities is impact the problem of domestic violence. The series is filled with striking statistics that many survivors may not realize. If a victim strangled even once, they're seven to eight hundred percent more likely to be the victim of completed homicide in the future. And if they continue in that relationship and they continue receiving blows to the head or strangulation, they can develop traumatic brain injury over and over and over again. In addition to survivors, one episode focuses solely on abusers. I was doing a lot of gaslighting. Revealing how different abuse can look from home to home. The emotional abuse, the verbal abuse, the sexual abuse, the financial abuse. This man says he genuinely didn't believe he was an abuser until he got treatment. I'm living proof of the fact that you can change. This man says he initially refused court-ordered treatment and chose to serve a longer sentence. I needed my violence. I needed that side of me because I wasn't done running the streets. So why would I go participate in this program that's trying to take something away from me that I need? He says when he finally got help, it was his choice. I needed something that would anchor me from the inside. The mindset of, of batters is complex. But it's not just women who are victims. No, men are, men are victims, a surprising number. The series also features male survivors and survivors from same-sex abusive relationships. Being the only diverse family in the community, I couldn't at that time seek the help that I needed for myself or for my children. At that point. Allison Kephart from WEAVE, which provides crisis intervention among other survivor services, says non-traditional abusive relationships can be even more dangerous. Because we know that you're facing many other barriers to safety. Uh, you're facing concerns about being judged or not being taken seriously when you report the abuse. But she says while everyone's journey to finding support is different, there is help for everyone and it doesn't discriminate. It also underscores why it's so important to have different communities reflected in a training video like this. But the DA's association hopes this goes far beyond training to help survivors and abusers realize help is available to stop the cycle of violence. If you or anyone you know is in an abusive relationship, the National Domestic Violence Hotline can point you to local resources in your area. You see the number here. The California District Attorneys Association will be premiering new episodes of their series every Tuesday during the month of November on its YouTube page.